in these streets. And I'm just like you. We get in locked by these caps. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. Damn, I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We get in shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. Welcome to FCN Quick News of the Day. I'm your host, Officer Daniel, and today's news we have. So this, this is a video of a father calling his daughter, and let's see how his daughter responds. Hello. 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 I don't want to talk. But dang, how you doing today? Good, I don't want to talk. Why do you always tell me that? Because I don't like talking to you. I don't like talking to you. But you won't even let me ask the question before you try to answer. You just said, how are you? You just said, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Demi, why are you so rude to your daddy? I don't like talking to you. But, does, but that, talk that doesn't talk give you a reason to be rude. You got to honor your mother and your father, sweetheart. Okay. I get that much, but you don't have to be rude about it. I said I don't want to talk. I know that. I heard you the first four times, but you still need to stop being uh -oh. rude. That's the whole thing about I'm, it. I'm telling you something and you're not listening. Uh, because I'm the parent, you can't tell me nothing. That's the thing. I can't express my feelings. You definitely can, but you can do that without being rude as well. That's the whole thing. That's the key. Okay, you okay. don't be rude and you don't be okay. disrespectful. Oh, no, okay, no, no. but you don't have to talk over me either. I don't want to talk but you don't have to talk over me. So if you don't want to talk and you're going to talk over me, you could just be. It's just straight disrespect, straight disrespect. I tell you, this this is the message that's pushed on our sisters all the way down to our daughters from the mother. And then this is the type of reaction that you get out of your children, mainly your sisters, your daughters. No respect. Why? Because Babylon's mission is to destroy the black man's image, destroy him as a father, destroy him as a brother, destroy him as destroy him as a husband that is their goal and then the end result of it is this uh give me that article real quick go scroll down to the uh title scroll down to the title this is the result of what what america is teaching our daughters read that boyfriend of one of tiktok stars famous twins shot and killed their father over argument over twerking and $500,000. You see that? You see that society does not want the black man to correct his wife nor correct his daughters. Why? Because that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say that a father has care for his daughter's body. He has care for his daughter. Why? Because he doesn't want her to fall into the midst of this. But society is against that. That's why they, uh, they uh, black, black, uh, blacklisted T.I., for, for uh, trying to take care of his daughter. And this is the result of it. Go back. Go back. We're going to read a little bit more. Read right there. Uh, a, the, horrible the horrible chain, chain, yeah. a horrible chain of events started down in Mobile, Alabama. Uh -huh. when the TikTok stars, the famous twins who are known for twerking, were confronted by their father who did not approve of what they were doing. That's correction. That's what he, he said. He had a problem with the type of videos they were creating because they were selling their body for money. Go back. This is when things became deadly. Police Chief Roy Hodge said the first shootings occurred at about 10.40 p.m. in the 500 block of Williams Street with an argument that a man named James Walters was mm -hmm. having with his two daughters who live at the address. As the shouting escalated, another man police would not identify tried to intervene. That's when the scene turned deadly. Police said Walters ran toward the other man. The preliminary investigation indicates Mr. Walters produced a firearm, he said. The other individual produced his firearm and shot Mr. Walters in what appears to be self-defense based on the information that we have so far. Wow. So the outcome of that, God says, is death. The judgment is eventually going to be death because why? This place doesn't allow black men to be fathers. This place doesn't promote black men to be husbands 
But watch this. Give me a scripture. Go to Exodus chapter 28 and verse 15. Let's see what God says about parenting. Because America won't teach you parenting. Correct parenting. Parenting. But God says he will. Read that. The book of Exodus. Chapter 21 and verse 15. Uh -huh. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. Shall be surely what? Put to death. That was the judgment. That's our culture. God says a rebellious child, there is no use for him. He has to be put to death. Why? Because we was always taught to honor our parents. To honor our parents. Go to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 26 verse 26. It was always taught. And who is it supposed to be taught by? Watch this. Read. The book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha. Uh -huh. Chapter 26 in verse 26. Come on. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. Come on. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. That's what God says. A wife that does it. What do you think she's going to teach her daughter? She's going to teach her daughter the same thing. That child was raised watching her mother call, his, call her father a, a negro, a nigger, saying you ain't good for nothing. You a dog. And now she's displaying that same attitude, that same uh, personality to her father. Just when he just wants to call and say, how you doing? Good morning. How is your day? But he automatically is meet, met with conflict the same way he left her mother because he came where she came to him with conflict, conflict. Go to Leviticus chapter 20, Leviticus chapter 20 and verse nine. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse nine. Uh -huh. For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. God says everyone that does that thing. That's what you deserve. You deserve death. You deserve death. That's why uh, when you follow this story about the sister, she said it should have been her instead of the father. But it's still a judgment that has to be passed for that. It's still a judgment that has to be passed for that. Read it again. Verse 9. For everyone that curseth his father or his mother mm. shall be surely put to death. Shall be surely put to death. That's why we have so much death in our community, because these kids, they're not listening to their parents. They out here becoming thugs, strapping themselves up with weapons, uh, getting high drunk and then going out and using those weapons because they don't honor their parents, nor is their parents teaching them the right way. Their parents teaching them how to twerk, teaching them to uh, 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 demasculate their men, uh, emasculate th their men. Right. Go to uh, Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Uh -huh. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. That's what we need in our communities. That's what we need as a people. We need to start to teach our children to honor their parents. Why? Because when their parents' mind is on the scriptures, that's, they're giving them the best thing that they can have in their life. So it can be long and prosperous, like the Lord said. Honor your parents. Read it again. Yes, sir. Verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land mm -hmm. which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Come on. Thou shalt not kill. Oh, go to, uh, sorry, go to uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. We have, to be, we have to teach this to our children. That's the only way that you will get respect out of them. Because if you if you don't teach them, they're going to they're going to cling to Babylon. They're going to cling to uh, America's uh, next top model. They're going to cling to uh, Atlanta housewives where Babylonian women are being raised to destroy the younger women. You got that? Ecclesiastes eight. Yes, sir. Read. Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. That's that's why. And that's why it still continues, because the judgment no longer will be read about a uh, a child that uh, uh, smites his parents shall be surely put to death. That doesn't happen immediately. Now, now you have like the Christian church says grace, mercy, 
peace. That's what God is stretching forth his hand and showing you. You don't get judged immediately, but that judgment will come. But you don't have that judgment is now no longer swift. You have time to get it right. You have time to start to learn how to love your parents, how to honor your father. Read it again. Yes, sir. Verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, uh-huh. therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. They set in it. Because I guarantee you, they didn't stop making twerk videos. I guarantee you, they said they were sorry for it. I guarantee you, the sister, the brother, the uh, brother that called his daughter, she's going to be like that the next day and the next day and the next day until she repents from it. Go to uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. But a day is going to come when it's going to go back, go back to the laws of Moses. Those rebellious children and those rebellious, those rebellious daughters and those rebellious sons, God is going to say, bring them forth and slay them before me because they have no purpose if you don't want to repent, if you don't want to honor your parents. Read. The book of Titus, chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. That's that judgment not coming speedily. You have grace. You have a chance to get it right. Come on. Teaching us that denying ungodliness. What is supposed to teach you? uh, Denying ungodliness. That time is supposed to teach you to honor your parents. Read. And worldly lust. Uh Uh-huh. We should live soberly, read, righteously, read, and godly in this present world. You have to change in this present world. Learn how to honor your parents in this present world. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.